my buddy's private property up here in Indiana. Got the dredge running. I did. Been working. Got a spot about two foot wide, about a foot and a half deep up there at the end of that nozzle. And it's probably, I'm probably six or eight feet long, but I'm pretty wet, getting pretty cold, getting pretty tired. That material's really hard packed in there. So I've been running, oh, close to two hours now, start and stop. I had a couple, couple issues with the hose blowing off, but got that taken care of. But, uh, that's where we're at. Here's underneath the grizzly. How well this is going to show up. But you can see all that black sand in there. The riffles are completely packed full of black sand. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is tons and tons and tons of really fine gold in there. Uh, this is down below. You can just see how packed up the ripples are. I'll do a quick pan once I get everything out of the water and back up to uh, back up to the truck just to get an idea of what we got going on in here. But we probably got a good five pound coffee can worth of nothing but black sand in here if nothing else. But I know it's loaded with fine gold. So we'll talk to you soon. As I told you guys, just that little that little section pull out section of V mat. This is what was on it. I know it might be a little hard to see. I'm a little bit shaky myself. Keep in mind, that's about five by 16 inch piece of V-mat. Had that much gold in it. And I still haven't cleaned all the stuff out up at the, the head of the drop down in front of the V-mat. And I got my tub full over here yet too that was loaded. More later. Well, the dredge concentrates have all been gone through. Not a bad turnout. We look like seen a little better weight. I haven't weighed it all up yet, but it's still uh, for Indiana gold and less than two hours of running the dredge it's a really nice clean up considering the area this is what we're looking at all in all very happy very happy